Which similar, what are you thinking of when you talk about? Oh, well, free speech, yes, we have these battles um, uh, always over our history. You know, is it, should you be arrested and put in jail if you speak badly of the government? And around the time of the First World War, that was the case. We had these Alien and Sedition Acts in the United States that said, if you, if you speak with treason, we'll put you in jail. The McCarthy era in the 50s, if you, you know, are viewed to be a communist, we're going to shame you and, and put you away. We thought we'd gotten over that, I think, in the 70s and 80s. Uh, you know, speech was, again, an important value. With the coming of terrorism and concerns about security, we're into another cycle now of people thinking too much freedom might be unwise for, for United States citizens. My students believe that to walk down 14th Street in New York City, they should be carry, carrying identification. It's not, in fact, the law. But they believe that it, it's appropriate to always be identified to everybody around them. So it's a tremendous atmosphere of, of security, fear, sort of, you know, squelching of speech and, and other things. So yes, you're right. This is another sort of sine wave of uh, uh, squelching of speech going on in the United States. But as I say, it's a religious war. So the people on the other side, uh, many people who are who are concerned about this.